Come and hear all who fear God. I will tell what the Lord did for my soul. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Have mercy on us, O Lord, for we have sinned against you. Show us, O Lord, your mercy and grant us your salvation. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who prepared a fit dwelling place for the Holy Spirit in the heart of the Blessed Virgin Mary, graciously grant that through her intercession we may be a worthy temple of your glory. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, the descendants of my people shall be renowned among the nations and their offspring among the peoples. All who see them shall acknowledge them as a race the Lord has blessed. I rejoice heartily in the Lord and my God is the joy of my soul, for he has clothed me with a robe of salvation and wrapped me in a mantle of justice. Like a bridegroom adorned with a diadem, like a bride bedecked with her jewels. As the earth brings forth its plants and a garden makes its growth spring up, so will the Lord God make justice and praise spring up before all the nations. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. My heart exults in the Lord, my Savior. My heart exults in the Lord, my Savior. My heart exults in the Lord. My horn is exalted in my God. I have swallowed up my enemies. I rejoice in my victory. My heart exults in the Lord, my Savior. The bows of the mighty are broken, while the tottering gird on strength. The well-fed hire themselves out for bread, while the hungry batten on spoil. The barren wife bears seven sons, while the mother of many languishes. My heart exults in the Lord, my Savior. The Lord puts to death and gives life. He casts down to the netherworld. He raises up again. The Lord makes poor and makes rich. He humbles and also exalts. My heart exalts in the Lord, my Savior. He raises the needy from the dust. From the dung heap he lifts up the poor to seat them with nobles and make a glorious throne their heritage. My heart exalts in the Lord, my Savior. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, 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 Hallelujah. Blessed is the Virgin Mary who kept the word of God and pondered it in her heart. Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The 
The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Each year, Jesus' parents went to Jerusalem for the feast of Passover. And when he was 12 years old, they went up according to the festival custom. After they had completed its days as they were returning, the boy Jesus remained behind in Jerusalem, but his parents did not know it. Thinking that he was in the caravan, they journeyed for a day and looked for him among their relatives and acquaintances. But not finding him, they returned to Jerusalem to look for him. After three days, they found him in the temple, sitting in the midst of the teachers, listening to them and asking them questions. And all who heard him were astounded at his understanding and his answers. When his parents saw him, they were astonished, and his mother said to him, Son, why have you done this to us? Your father and I have been looking for you with great anxiety. And he said to them, Why were you looking for me? Did you not know that I must be in my father's house? But they did not understand what he said to them. He went down with them and came to Nazareth and was obedient to them. And his mother kept all these things in her heart. The Gospel of the Lord. What mother wouldn't be anxious? What mother wouldn't be heartbroken um, if she had lost her son? Um, and certainly Mary's uh, comment to Jesus expresses the grief that it caused her. And Jesus um, kind of says something that feels like a little bit of a rebuke. Didn't you know where I would be in my father's house? And yet, we know that translation is always difficult. Translation of culture, translation of language. I imagine that Jesus' comment was, um, you know, do you not understand? Come, didn't you know I would be here? Didn't you know me well enough to know that this would be the place I would be? And his comment is revelatory. It's already showing him as the son of the father. And because of that, Mary ponders this in her heart. The mother of a heart, the heart of a mother will always be broken. It will be broken by events like this, and certainly Mary's heart, heart suffered much. Um, being in relationship with her son um, and having to follow him to the cross would have been the ultimate breaking of her heart. But what we recognize and what we always turn to Mary for is that she never stopped loving. She never stopped caring. She never stopped being mother. And from the cross, out of the strength of her love for her son, Jesus was able to give her to us as mother. Jesus was able to give her to us as someone who cared for us. And I think her heart still breaks when we don't follow her son. I think her heart still breaks when we are violent toward one another. I think her heart still breaks when we do not um, live a generous life, a full life, the life that Jesus wants to give us. And I think the challenge of Mary to hear her call is to love her son. I think the challenge of Mary is to be mother to everyone whom we meet, to care that much. I think her joy is us being in love with her son and following him everywhere that we are. That is our hope. That is our freedom. That is our joy. So in these days, do not be afraid. Live with great respect for the dignity of everyone whom we meet and continue to give praise to God. And my prayer today is thanksgiving for the Immaculate Heart of Mary, the heart that still beats with love for God's people, the heart that still pours out her love upon us, the heart that intercedes with her Son for her broken people.
Knowing the Father's promise to hear our prayer, let us present our petitions to him. For all members of the church, may the Lord guide us in finding ways to show love to each person we encounter. Let us pray to the Lord. For our national and local leaders, may God guide their words and actions in seeking to defend the dignity and sanctity of human life from conception through natural death. Let us pray to the Lord. For those who are burdened with health issues, especially those who are sick these days with uh, COVID-19, may God bring them healing of mind and body. Let us pray to the Lord. For our faith community, may we find freedom and peace in the commands of the Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. For those who have died, may they experience the fullness of joy with the saints in heaven. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, we entrust our prayers to you in the holy name of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Lord, look upon the prayers and offerings of your faithful presented in commemoration of Blessed Mary, the Mother of God, that they may be pleasing to you and may confer on us your help and forgiveness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For you gave the blessed Virgin Mary a wise and obedient heart that she might perfectly carry out your will, a new and gentle heart in which you were well pleased and on which you inscribed the law of the covenant. You gave her an undivided and pure heart that she might be worthy to be the virgin mother of your son and to rejoice to see you forever. You gave her a steadfast and watchful heart so that she could endure without fear 
the sword of sorrow and await in faith the resurrection of her son. With the whole company of angels, we sing your praises in their canticle of joy. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and John our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our day that by the help of your mercy 
we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always, and with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. Having been made partakers of eternal redemption, we pray, O Lord, that we who commemorate the mother of your Son may glory in the fullness of your grace and experience its continued increase for our salvation through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace. Thanks be to God.